Okay, we're going to look at doing this problem. We need to um, do a conversion because one of the masses is in grams and the other one is in kilograms. And whenever we're doing a calculation using any forces, especially using things like Newton's second law, you need to have it in kilograms. So here's our block, 123.4 grams, and on top of it is a one kilogram mass. To do this calculation, this 123.4 grams needs to be converted into kilograms. So here's we've got 123.4 grams, and we're going to multiply it by a ratio. The ratio is 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams. Okay, now 1 kilogram over 1,000 grams is basically just the number 1. But if you notice, we've got grams on the top, grams on the bottom, so we can cancel it off. And now if we do some multiplication, we've got 123.4 with kilograms on the top, divided by 1,000 on the bottom, which gives us 0 0.1234 kilograms. So that is 123.4 grams converted into kilograms. Okay, now that we've done our conversion, we're going to just quickly resketch the free body diagram with our converted mass. So our wooden block with our one kilogram mass sitting on top. So 0.1234 kilograms is the wooden block, the one kilogram mass sitting on top. So now if we want to calculate the force of gravity for a free body diagram, it's M times G. Our M will be the combined masses of the wooden block and the one kilogram mass sitting on top. So it's one plus 0.1234 times 9.8 meters per second squared. So we get a weight or an FG of 11 point zero and when we round it 1 newtons. We can put a negative in front just for direction, but we're just looking for how to calculate this.